his beers, wines and spirits review. Been a long, long day. Had a cracking day, gotta be fair. Cracking presents, lots and lots of beer. Meals, at, meal, a breakfast out, a meal out. And a drink this, after, this evening also with a good friend. So tonight, reviewing from Alter Ego Brewing. And this is their Coconut Milk Stout Alter Ego. Based in, well, their tap rooms in Losco in Derbyshire. Um, I will read on the back of the can. Let me just refresh this so I can actually get the comments up so I can see the comments. It's good to be back live. I'm going to try and do a couple of lives this weekend. I might take a, might take a glass and a tin opener down to uh, Southampton with me and try and do a sneaky live. Or, or take some draft beer down with me. Happy 60th. <laughs> good, good evening. Uh, happy 60th. What's this about? That's a cue. Oh. So, closed player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Right, I do apologise. I'll look at... I'll, the white's going up there. Oh, yeah, you've got to click on the video first. Hopes everyone clicks on the video. That is bubbling away like an absolute swine. Uh, so I've got an Imperial Easter stout here. And, uh, and good evening. And uh, here we go. Pop out of chat. It's on the screen. Yeah, I do get adverts on my own videos. Yeah, yeah, it's great. <laughs> yeah. You know when you're trying to review... When you know when you're trying to edit videos, it does you bolting. Run you mate. Yes. Yeah, been out. Uh, first went to a uh, restaurant. Then we went, out, went around to a mate's for an hour and had a beer. So, yeah. Two reviews. An hour down the shed. Get a couple of lives out of the way. And thank you. Good afternoon. And, uh, yeah, thanks. So, yeah. This is from Alter Ego Brewing. It's described as a bounty in a drink. Like an alcoholic bounty drink. So, I'm really excited to drink it. I'll tell you what it says on the back. We are a small brewery based in Derbyshire, Nottinghamshire border. Um, passionately producing full flavoured beers in cask, keg, can and bottle. And they're based in Hina in Derbyshire, not far away from where um, American Adventure used to be. For those who are, who are fans of um, theme parks. So Milky Joe, a sweet milk stout made with chocolate and co coconut and chocolate. Bounty hunters, your search is over. The ABV is, where does it say the ABV? 5.2%. So, a nice one to start off Start off with. I know, 50 years. And, and thank you for that. Thank you again. Cheers. And good evening to everyone. So, yeah. Bounty in a... Thank you. And good evening. So, yeah. Bounty in alcohol form. I do apologise about that bubbling. It's my Imperial Easter Chocolate Stout. Which is also going to get uh, 750 mils of uh, spiced rum added to it. So when good people come to Nottingham, oh my gosh, they're going to get rocked. It's going to rock your socks. So I'm pouring into a, a bang the elephant glass. I don't actually own an alter ego glass. Well, I will do. And you can't see the you can't see the can. So quick, there we go. Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's better. Product placement. The Americans do it all the time. So, 10,000 days. <laughs> so, lovely looking pour to this. Thank you, uh, Disco. Disco or Asco. I'm not sure which one. But yeah, and good evening as well. Good evening, mate. And thank you again. So yeah, the on black pour with this. Slightly off-white. A centimetre and a half of head. And, um... Really happy with the presents I got today. 100 quid's worth of, um, for, for going out and spend on beer, which I have done. It's already gone, spent, as you do. And uh, I got a nice new Chromebook off the wife. I've got a, a battery-powered mower. Yep. All right, turn the notifications off. Swine notifications. Good evening, Mr. Jim. How are you? <laughs> Yeah, they do make some good kinds. These are an up and coming um, microbrewery, nano brewery in Nottingham. And they make some amazing beers. They, like the Bang the Elephant, whose glass this is, these people, you know, they're, they're first for doing the best. It's how it should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've got draft beer, I've got cans, bottles, went, and then 
had a drink at a pub as well. Been a good day, been a cracking day. And now I've got a weekend of um, going down to Southampton, hopefully going to pick up some nice beers from down there. Cheers. <laughs> Milky Joe, eh? Sounds wrong. So, better put my review head on for a second. Bit of a roastiness on the aroma. Hint of coconut there, definitely, definitely a hint of coconut. Good evening and thank you. Oh, quite a bit more coconut on the flavour and good evening. Oh, I know it's a Thursday night, but it feels like the weekend. Well, just to me, it felt like the weekend last night, to be fair, but. Uh, yeah, I'm drinking this first and then I've got a nice uh, stronger one for straight after. <laughs> when he goes to the bathrooms, start singing. I'll have to go on as my alter ego. Yeah, 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 I'm off now to Monday. Yeah, I'm back in work Monday. So, had two days off, one for today, one for me tomorrow. Cheers, mate. It's been a great, it's been a great one. Yeah, it's it's been a nice start to the um, to the weekend today. It's, uh, it's it's been lovely. Had a cracking cracking day the whole way through, really. But, Good evening. The black currant, there's a foam on it, so it looks like it's doing something. I did have to put the other, the other lot of yeast on it, to be fair. So I'm hoping, there's the dog. Um, I'm hoping it actually bubbles over the weekend. I needed some time off work, actually, to be fair. Yeah, so next beer review. I'm not having whiskey tonight, no, no, no. I've, but I have got a nice bottle of beer for the next review. So I'm reviewing this fella for the next review. Never had a day year before, not like I can remember anyway. And it's brand new in the shops apparently. Box car and day year. Barley wine. So that's my next review. The wife's expecting me up the house drunk. So one must always appease that. Um... Well, no, not too drunk, hopefully, but, um, yeah. And she already knows about the Old Tom Challenge as well, because I told her today. I told her I'm doing ten, ten Old Toms, and she's like, you're going to get drunk. I says, maybe. Maybe not. And I just realised that Duvel comes in 8.5 as well. Pint of Vimto. The Vimto's not strong enough. No cards on my birthday. No, no, I got, the other, I got them the other day. <laughs> She's all right about it, to be fair. Yeah, she might be not be next Friday, but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's going down a treat. This is a treat, beer. This is not overly expensive. It's only five point two percent. Got it from AdventureBeer.co.uk in Nottingham. Um, good fellow lives in Sherwood, delivering good beers. And uh, you know, if you do come to the Nottingham area. Um, I've now been to about six different tap rooms now, and um, it's it's great going round. Went to Magpie Brewery earlier, and the lady looked at me, and you know when you get that look, and and you, I knew she'd noticed something. And then I says, um, I was on about that I was getting draft beers, and they talk around to me and says, uh, I was on about draft beers. Says, yeah, I says. I do, I do a bit, I do a review on, on, I do some reviews on YouTube. I didn't say my name, obviously. I'm not giving the game away. And she turns around and says, you're raggy. And <laughs> I knew I knew your face. And, um, and then I went to the Lincoln Green pub about an hour later to get some more draft beers. And again, um, I said to her, oh, I do a odd review on the internet. I know who you are. And it's amazing, isn't it? You know, who watches your reviews, eh? 
7.48%. This is what these kits are about. It's about playing with the kits. That's why with the Easter brew, this fella, I've added three kilos of sugar. And I'm going to add um, one. Cheers, matey. Thanks for that. It does, it does mean a lot when it comes from uh, people... Uh, who have been around the community for, for years. You know, it does resonate, it does. So yeah, um, I'm adding a, um, a bottle of rum to that, uh, spiced rum. And then to the honey porter that's over there, I'm adding a bottle of honey, por honey rum, so honey bourbon rather. Yeah, you've got to add your kilo of sugar, haven't you? The only worry is if the yeast isn't powerful enough to eat and produce ABV, then you've got an issue. It does happen. It, I've only had it happen once or twice, but it, it does happen now and again. So always something to take note of. Always best to have a backup plan. I've a, a high alcohol yeast as a backup plan. You know, always pays to have a, an, um, good evening. Always pays to have, pays rather, to have a plan B with any, with any, with any home brewing just in case it doesn't work out. Um, I've only had one kit in all the years I've been brewing, and I've done some cockles. <laughs> Those who seen that to old Tom post the other week where I went put down man versus beer too, the 105.9% was in that as well. But nobody came to me about it. No one commented. I was a bit surprised, really. Is it coming home? If we can get past Germany and be convincing, then you never know. Once you get that confidence in the players, oh. Yeah, yeah, the, with beers, you know, uh, I always say, <laughs> I always say with beers when you're brewing, just give it an extra three or four days. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, I went to Asda for Old Tom earlier. None in. And then I went to Sainsbury's and paid a five or more. Woodford Wherry Kit. You've got light malt, spray malt, or even probably some... Um... It's not easy to find, is it? Yeah, or even just sugar. Just a kilo of sugar, just to add a bit more to it. You can use syrups. You know, if you add syrups after after the initial fermentation, just before you bottle it, go to B&M, you can add syrups. The Millionaire Stout from Wild Company. Was that the salted chocolate, salted caramel jogger, job? Because if it was, oh, I didn't like it. Cheers, Ant, and good evening, mate. Thank you. Yeah, old Tom, for a lot of people, the only place is Robinson's Brewery. I've tagged Robinson's Brewery in. I might have to, on the night, I might have to move the sign and put the sign here somewhere. Move the Raggy's own brew out of the way and put the sign up here. Next Saturday, next Friday. Old Tom Challenge, next Friday. Oh, it's going to be epic. Let's see if, let's see if more people can get Old Tom's. It's going to be interesting. Thank you, Hoodie. I have, and good evening. It's been a great day. It's been a great day. I'm looking forward to it. I tried to get drunk the other night. I was not in a good place mentally, you know. Uh, you may have noticed. No. Um, but um, I tried to get drunk the other night because I wasn't in a great place. And uh, it's... Whatever I drank, I couldn't get drunk. Have I done the challenge before? No. But I've drank a hell of a lot more than 10 old Toms. And still been sober. Yeah. One in the pub with a stream. The... Good evening, Mr. Hophouse. And thank you. I will be putting a link out for people to join in as well. It will be a bit of a collaboration thing as well. 
I'm hoping to tweak the shed's internet as well. So if I can get if I can get the the, the shed's internet tweaked, I might be able to use the uh, the brand new Chromebook, which is better than using this. The picture quality is amazing, especially outside. Old Tom, yeah, yeah, yeah. And obviously, on the serious side of things, if you can't do ten, you should never do ten. If you get to five, you're steaming, then you knock off. You know, um, the biggest, the, the bigger men in the world know when to stop. Stopping is always the thing. If you can't literally do something, then you stop. You know, always best to put that out there. Don't want anybody making themselves ill. I've got a lot of birthday beers today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The beer wall's changing massively. I'm having the glasses are gonna to have to get moved again because there's just too many beers. But um, but it's great because now I'm so I've supported local breweries, supermarkets. I've got some of my very favourite beers from supermarkets, and then I got a load of free beer the other day. So uh, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, don't think I've ever had any. And then I'm home brewing like a swine as well. Uh, this this beer room's like a pub on its own. Yes, yes, definitely, Dan. You know, we, we must know, we must not. It's like if you was following that 10 Duvel challenge and trying to match what they did. If you got to three bottles and thought, oh God, I'm steaming, I can't do it. Then you don't do it, you don't. You know, I would never ever. Um, best beer you've got today. Ooh. Um, difficult. I've got so many nice beers. This I wouldn't say there's one that's going to be a box ticker in that respect of being something that's going to blow me away. There's a lot of beers I've tried before, but um, yeah, and it wants a cheap Chromebook either. She went. She asked the bloke in Curry's, "What's the best Chromebook for streaming?" And uh, it cost us some quite some money. So a lot of her cake making's gone into that. So bless her. You know, she does love the Mister Raggy. Yeah, and I'll have to think about getting us something for, for, we've got our wedding anniversary coming up on the 11th. Probably, yeah, peace. Peace, stops me yakking in front of it, yeah. So, 17 minutes in, I need to knock this one off on the head so I can come back with the other review. So, I'll have to go into review mode for a second. But as we know, and as Jim definitely knows, the longer you leave a beer to breathe, a set of red cards. Yeah, I got a black card the other day, mate. No, not just a red card. I got the black card. A few beers from Castle Rock. They've got a new beer coming out tomorrow. A double dry opt pale. Good evening, Edward. And uh, thank you, mate. Cat Asylum. No, no, no. I've never even heard of them. In Newark Brewery. Right here. Oh, no, I've not heard of them. I am going to Lincoln next week. Yes, it does look. It does look like it's going to be an interesting beer. That double dry up Citra. I am going to go down next week to uh, get it. Get it unless I get one for free. You never know. You look. But if I don't get one for free, I'm going to go down to their pop up shop, go and buy one, and um, then drag the wife up to um, Derbyshire because I want to get some beers from another tap room. Collingham. That's Nottinghamshire, isn't it? Calling him. Rings a bell. Good evening, Mr. Goated. How are you, mate? And good evening, Mr. Bolton. How are you? It's this. It's this chocolate stout. It's really, really going mad. I love the old beers. I love... Yeah, I thought it was. I love the old beers. I love the new beers. That's interesting, Craig. Um, they do do a lot of... Ex in the past, they did do a lot of experimental beers, and uh, their beers, their experimental beers, are, are quite something to, to, you know, to, to taste. Salopium, you've got to get your good evening. Thank you. Good evening, and thank you again. Um, yeah, the salopium beers. You've got to get your merch, aren't you, when you go to these places? Oh, so you've got to translate it from Romanian to English, English or some sort of English. Oof.
Still at the building site, mate. Wow. Good on you. The big 50, I know, it's depressing. Um, yeah, I just put three kilos of sugar in this one. I reckon it could get as high as 12 or 13%. I really do. Hugo the Pug. Good evening. And uh, thank you for the happy birthdays. It's lovely. Hi, Donna. It's been a good birthday, to be fair. You know, it's, uh, it's nice to have a few highs. Korean was the worst. Ooh. Do you agree with me, Jim, that the longer you leave a beer to, to air, especially certain beers at least, the better the flavour becomes? It's like a fine wine. I don't know if you have ever drank any wines, red wines especially, but the longer you leave it for the air to get to it, the better. The more complexities come out. It's been booming, an absolute swine, it has, it's been really good. And I'm still going to add some rum to it, some black spice rum. I'm going high. I mean, some don't, obviously, some. You know, they are what they are, you know. You, the one trick pony some beers are but um so 21 minutes in i'm sure i said i was going to end it about 20 so oh. i think it's i think with temperatures it's all down to the person i know people that like stouts freezing i know people that like stouts at room temperature there are a lot of beers that i prefer at room temperature I do understand this thing about drinking stuff cold, but on the whole, I like things seven degrees or eight degrees and above. Obviously, there's a limit on on old Tom next Friday. Yes, challenge. Yes, up next Friday. Yes, I'll make sure I have plenty of food before that. Amundsen stouts from Norway. I think I've had one or two of the Amundsens. Yes. I think I actually got one each off both Craig and Adam at some stage. Next Friday. Yeah, yeah, not this Friday. Yeah, next Friday, two hours, Old Tom Challenge. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Yeah, I find that as well with flavour. It does get better. I suppose it depends on what, the, what it was brewed with in the first, first place. And for those fans of beer... Have you seen that Vocation tonight, of, I think it's their 10th brew of their Cherry Imperial Stout. And um, oh, lovely. Yeah, tonight, Vocation, until Sunday, they've got an offer. Uh, you get the, the can of the Imperial Kirsch. You get this amazing glass. It looks even better than this, and that's saying something, because that's an amazing glass. Uh, both of them for seven quid from Vocation. So I'm going to buy two, because I've got a mate whose birthday is this weekend, actually tomorrow. And uh, I'm going to buy two of them, and hopefully try and trigger the um, free posting. More beers I'm buying. It's funny how some beers are, though, isn't it? I suppose you get used to it. The more beers you've drank, you have a knowledge of beers that um, that you know what should be in the fridge and should not be in the fridge. Same with me, it's got a gardener. Some things work, some things don't. Yeah, it's a cracking glass. I've got to get it. And there's just enough on the Vocation website for me to trigger that 35 quid free delivery. So... It's worth it just to get two of the glasses. I've had a great day, mate. It's been that st outstanding day. Been up since about quarter to seven. And see, this is really, this is all interesting to me. The brewing process is interesting to me. The, the, everything, it, it's all really interesting. I'm as interested as in, in the beer side of things as I am in the gardening side of things. Um, not just about getting drunk. Oh, it does help, mind you. Thank you, mate, and good evening.
there's a good four or five stouts at, at vocation. Good evening. With Chinese cough and sneeze. Ooh, bless you. Let's hope you're well from it, you know. I wasn't a mad keen fan of the St. Peter's Without series, I've got to be honest. Uh, I'm not sure which one I had. I won a case of it. I wasn't keen. It was it was a bit too bit too overly malty for me, and uh, you know it tasted like tea bags. Um, yeah, it didn't taste great to me. But I've had a nerd brewing one before. Yes, I'm sure Craig got me that to be fair, but not the old parochial. Seventy five quid for fifty quid delivery, you can't fault that, that's good. Yorkshire Craft Brewery, yeah, when I go up to uh, I need to we need to do a Yorkshire stopover, me and the wife, and do some do some beer tap rooms. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I won't tap them again, no. So <sighs> coconut roasty on those. Good evening. We're at round one. This is going to end in about two minutes, and then next round. Ah, right here. I did see a Nerd Brewing one in uh, that Ilkeston shop last weekend, to be fair. Woof. Vindaflu. There's a lot of people not wearing masks now. It seems to be, it seems to be, it seems to have gone out the window in a lot of places. Let's hope it doesn't kill them on the arse. With all of us, we've all got our own taste buds. This is something that people always remember. Just because, you know, we're all our palates change from whatever you drink and get used to and like, your palate changes. So, yes, John Smith to some people may taste disgusting. To other people, it's their favourite beer. But they maybe haven't tasted some of the beers that other people have tasted. It's always something. You, know, you can't really slag someone off just because they like best bitters. I like a whole range of beers, beers, lagers, ciders, this stuff I don't like, but next time I drink that one I don't like, will it taste better to me? Probably, because my palate has got better to beers over the years. There's certain beers to try that get your palate trained, that bring you into that trying like sours and all sorts of different beers. Tenant Super is the best beer in the world. Yeah. Is Tenant Super the one you got one and a half million views on, where it went viral? I know it's one of those because I've been watch, I've been, I've been studying you, mate, <laughs> and I know it came up somewhere because I looked at, it, I thought, bloody hell, that's a lot of views. But it's good for the channel. Yeah, you can't fault it, can you? I suppose it's Scottish as well, so. Yeah. There's some cracking, cracking bars there in Leeds. Cracking. Old Tom, yeah, it's decent. Ten of them next week. Are you joining in? Rhubarb ale today, 7.2%. Get in. Castle Main Forex, that was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must try and get myself some Castle Main Forex then. Oh, so they watched it for the porno aspect. <laughs> Uh, and then they've seen you. They're probably like, you know, sexy Scottish bloke. Good evening, Lee. And thank you, mate. Cheers, mate. Six. Fair play, Lee. Fair play at saying six. You know, not many people can do ten. Some people can probably do a hell of a lot more than ten. You know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of soldiers out there. 10 is, is, is definitely the top end of my limit. Will I be able to do it? I have no idea. Right. At the end, you really do. It really grows on you, this. <laughs> it really grows on you, this. There's a nice roastiness from it. There's definitely coconut all the way through. Is it bounty in, in liquid form? I'm not 100% sure. What I can say is a cracking beer with a lovely coconut flavour and that's it. Wow.
Right, I need to start reviewing some 4X beers, just out of curiosity. Thank you, and good evening. Yep, I need to start finding some 4X beers, just for the crack, just to see how it, where it goes. Right, that's my quest, getting hold of 4X beers, <laughs> just, just to see how many reviews you get, how many views you get. <laughs> Pastry stouts. I did have one the other week. I think it was from Amundsen. And there was another one I had. I can't remember the beers now. You drink so many at times. But yeah, and then that, it was nice. The one I had was really, really nice. 41 people watching on the football night. Wow. Um. Right, so I need to kill this review off to come back with a day year review. So my first ever day year and boxcar collab. And it's a barley wine, so I'm going to get steaming. I've not seen 4X for a long, long time. No football, that's probably why then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone's looking for something to watch. Scottish Barrel Age Stouts. Ooh. What is a pastry stout? I'm not even going to answer that question. I think um, Jim's probably the best one, or Craig. They've, their knowledge of beers is far superior to mine. In the technical terms of what a pastry stout is classed as anyway, for sure. Um, for me... This Milky Joe Coconut Milk Stout. It does live up to its name. I won't say it's a bounty in a stout, but it is. Yes, it certainly had the, the coconut and the chocolatey notes on it. So, yeah, it is. In that respect, it is. And it's very nice. Very easy drinking. Alter Ego Brewing. Keep this on your radar. 5.2%. Oh, they make some great beers. Local to me, well, they're in Derbyshire, not Nottinghamshire border. Yeah, yes. It's like something that's on the, if you're a Scottish bloke and something's on the English border, on in England, near the border, yeah, it's on the Scottish border. <laughs> you don't want to, you don't want to say it's English. Um, I'm sure. But anyway, um, out of five for me, a good 4.4 .4 out of five. And uh, very, very nice. Yeah, it is, it's decent. And you know where I'm going for it. Football fans know this. You know, there's a place where you don't want to go. You don't want to say it's from Derby if you're a Nottingham fan. Don't we all? But anyway, that's that. Cheers, adventurebeer.co.uk. Cracking beer. And back with another review in two minutes. And cheers for everyone today. Everyone for the good evenings, the happy birthdays, and all the interaction. Fantastic. And on a weeknight as well. And back in two minutes with a very, very interesting beer review. From Boxcar and Daya. Cheers. Not long. Oops. That's if I ever turn the actual camera off. I need to do this bit first, don't I? Okay.